welcome to my channel MacMart. Please subscribe, like, and share my channel for more of my comment tutorials. Our today topic is stress components in a box related to axial loading. The main workshop goals are what we will define what is the stress state and how to calculate the stress state analytically and uh, what are the differences uh, between uniform and non-uniform loading and uh, which components of stress exist when the loading is uniform and disappears when loading is uniform and how to calculate stress components due to the uniform loading by solid works and at the end what is the accuracy of the simulation results in order to know the accuracy we will compare our simulation results with the analytical ones I hope you will learn about, uh, about much about stress components from this tutorial. So this is our problem statement. Consider a cantilever beam made of alloy steel and dimensions of this, which is a um, uh, fixed at one end and subjected to a force on other end. The force is applied in either direction and a high magnitude of 10,000 newton. So these are the mounting conditions you can see. These are the dimensions of the beam. Beam is 100 millimeter long. Beam height is 20 meter, and its width is 10 millimeter. The beam is fixed at the left end. The force of 10 to the newton is applied on right end. Uh, we can uh, how we can calculate we can calculate the stresses analytically. Just simple formula is that just for apply. Uh, divide the applied force by cross section area we will get the stress in normal direction and axial directions that will uh, that is 50 mega Pascal uh, before uh, starting our workshop uh, was first we should know the stress state stress state we know uh, we know conclude that the three normal stress components and three shear stress components are needed to describe the stress state at a certain point so a stress state can be written as sigma x uh, normal component and x direction y direction z direction and these are the shear stress components the purpose of this section is to guide the students familiarize the six stress components in the above equation the stress field in this section is uniform over the entire body. In the next section, we will explore the non-uniform stress field. Another purpose of this section is to familiarize the solid work simulation user interface. So uh, we will calculate. The, um, let's start the, our workshop. Uh, so the we will enter in the side box mod. Uh, right click on uh, click on the right click plane and select the sketch command. Okay, we have enter note please that the dimensions are in millimeters. Click on sketch and draw a rectangle starting from origin. Select the corner rectangle. Okay. Give the dimensions. This is the ten and height is the 20 exit the sketch click on the feature and click on the extrude bar space enter the depth 100 ok so we have model just a simple bar now click on the simulations we will enter in the sidewalk simulation interface uh, drop down and select the new study give your give the name your study we leave it by default select the static by default it is all already selected so okay so uh, this is uh, our uh, simulation module interface right click on the part and apply edit materials so material alas steel apply close now right click on the fixture and select the fixed symmetry select the left face of the beam ok and uh, now we apply the load right, right click on the external load select the force 
and select the right face, enter the value of 10,000, reverse its reactions. So, we have applied the bounding condition on our problem. Okay, our problem is ready to run the simulation. Just click on the run this study and wait for solution. So, we will get the solutions. You can see the by default stress is the one method stress. Right click in order to uh, obtain the normal stress in x direction. Right click on this, add the definitions, and select the x component normal stress in x direction. Okay. You can see from here. Okay. Okay. So, we have, uh, so you can see from here, first we will uh, change the dimension units into mega Pascal. Okay, here is some problem, we will see it later. So, you can see the full stress in the Z X direction is about 50 mega Pascals. You can also find the stress at any point using the probe command of SOLIDWORKS. Just right click stress and select the probe. Click here where you want. So, you can see this is the 50 mega Pascal. This is the 50 mega Pascal. At any point you will select, uh, you will get the result. So, we, our result is very, very close, nearly close to analytical value that was 50 mega Pascal. So, in this way, you should calculate stress in y direction, normal stress in z direction, shear stress and shear stress components. You will see for the farm loading, the stress components uh, just exist uh, in the direction of applied force and all other remaining five stress components are zero. We will see that in the simulation also. Just right click added definitions and selected the mega pascal okay okay and select the y directions so you can see here uh, uh, right click on the and select the pro so you can see this is a uh, about 0 point zero zero three just uh, consider it's zero so stress normal stress in the y direction is zero Similarly, you can uh, select the and other. Uh, you can select the normal stress and z direction, normal stress, uh, shear stress components. Uh, you can define all these will be zero. Pro. You can see this is the zero. So, what we have concluded? Our conclusion is that uh, in case of uniform loading, all stress components. Uh, are zero except the stress component in the direction of the applied force except the normal stress component in the direction of applied force that is non-zero i think you should get the results and uh, please again so keep on subscribing my channel and like and share to your friends so that you can uh, get more advanced tutorials okay take care Goodbye.